Okay, welcome. These are the things that you will need. This is one of the first videos that I've done like this. Y'all have been wanting some tutorials, so here we go. Now, before I get into this, this is how I do it in my practice, okay? If you know a different way, if you know, if you do it completely different, that's okay. That works for you. This is what works for me, okay? There are hundreds of thousands of ways that you can do what I'm about to show you. So, yeah, let's keep it nice in the comments, all right? All right, what you're going to need for this is a candle, a carving tool. This right here is literally just a clay tool, a pen, marker, whatever, and a petition. Now, this right here, brown paper bag. You can use whatever paper you have at hand, but it is important you've got to rip the edges. Here's another trick. If you are pulling something or banishing something away from you, you're going to rip, start from the bottom, and go up away from you. If you're pulling it in, if you're drawing it in, you're going to start from here and do like this, okay? All sides. Now, there are hundreds of thousands of ways that you can do partitions, but for the sake of this video, this is how I'm going to do mine, okay? Okay, now, what you're also going to need is either herbs or oils, okay? This is my little herb or oil box right here. So, for the sake of this video, we're going to use some of the oil that I've made myself. I call it my uh, Holy Mother Mary oil because it can be used for multiple things. We're going to use these, okay? Now, because I made a video before and it did not have it, you will need a glove for the oil, okay? All right. Now, before we get to the petition, well, yeah, we'll do the petition first, okay? Now, I'm literally just going to make something up <clears throat> as I do this, but traditionally, depending on how you were taught to make your petitions, you were literally not supposed to, this, once it hits that paper, is not supposed to basically come off of it. I can't do it like that, but this is how I do it, okay? We're going to do a quick prosperity spell. It's important to know with prosperity, if you have a business, use your business's name, okay? If you have, to, if you need a specific amount, go $10 higher or $10 lower, okay? Don't ask to win the lottery or anything like that. Statistically, it's almost one in a thousand or a quarter of a thousand. Not the point of this. All right. So we're going to do this. And you'll see that I have my own way of doing this. And it's okay if your handwriting, handwriting is chicken scratch because the spirits can read it. Right? Okay. We're going to turn it upside down. If you do readings or whatever your specific talents are, you can incorporate that into it as well. We're going to flip it over. We'll say... Fifty dollars. Then we're going to do F, L, T, W, F, L, T, W. Basically, that is Fire Lotus the Witch.
All right, again, I'm pulling this to me, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to burn this. off camera. Now with your petition you can put it up under your candle or you can just burn it, let the ashes cool, collect the ashes and rub the candle. Now let's get to the candle why that cools. So whatever your petition is, I've already actually carved this and there are multiple ways that you can carve your candles but this is what we mean by working your candles right? So you can do it in small letters like this to go this way. You can carve it like this you can even carve it like this okay now depending basically how you're carving this is what you're going to what the petition was right okay also if you're using oil anoint the oil to the candle which I'm about to do and then add the ash safety first again just like I taught you before depending on how you were taught this is how I was taught you only need a little bit right we're bringing it to us. We are bringing it to us. Also, talk to the oils. Again, you only need a little bit. Now, you can sit here, set it up properly. Obviously, I'm gonna put this in a candle holder, light it from the top, let it burn down. Now, it's important to note, depending on how much herbs and stuff you add to this, it will affect the way that it burned. At this point, you can also, you know, add crystals to it. But again, connect the crystal or mineral, this is emerald, connect with it, assign it its job. It needs to know what this is here for and then connect their energies. If you use multiple crystals, connect multiple ones. Also, I forgot to put, when you do the petition, you need to whoop, you need to clap it in your hand or tap it or breathe on it to activate it, um, the petition that is. But yeah, that's how I do candles. Now again, I know there are hundreds of different variations of how to do a candle. You may be asking, what happens if I don't have herb, or what happens if I don't have oils? use herbs. I preferably like to grind most of my herbs up to a fine powder, add the oil, then add the herbs to the candle. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or anything like that, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.